Hey guys, it's Renee. So for this, I'm going to be using this phone case, an acrylic one, it's a flexible one. This one used to be clear at some point, but it's pretty stained now because I do paint it every month, like I'm going to be doing now. Then I'm going to be using some foamy paper, white one, feel free to use black one instead, placing my phone case upside down and I'm going to trace the shape of this with my pencil. Then I'm going to cut it. And this is how I'm going to be cutting the camera gap. I'm using like this detail scissors. I think they are meant to cut eyelashes, like fake ones, or just to trim eyebrows. I'm going to be working on the Chanel like marks or texture that the Chanel bags have. You're using a ruler and that's why I'm using foamy paper because it kind of grabs the like shape that you're pushing onto it, making some like diagonal lines. I didn't measure like the space in between the lines, I just went by eye. But if you want it to be more precise, measure it. So my my ruler just worked to get the lines like the marks where I wanted them to be but now I'm gonna be using this plastic knife it's not sharp at all it doesn't cut through the foamy paper it just makes the marks until we have this texture I'm going to be painting this with my black acrylic paint and my brush and I also painted my phone case in black like this I just forgot to record it I'm going to be working on the Chanel logo itself for this I'm gonna be using the squeaky cutter these are the sizes and I'm also using a piping tip this is 2a it's from a local brand and i'm going to be using some foamy paper to just mark the shape of that first of the cookie cutter with my pencil and then going in the middle with my piping tip and then just marking that circle as in the middle as i can make it to be and then just cutting everything and then i'm going to be placing one on top of the other like a chanel logo once i'm happy with how it looks i'm going to be just marking like the circle that is below the one that i'm working on cutting that excess and i'm doing this just because i don't want to glue one on top of the other i just want this to lay flat on the, like the same level and i'm gonna be gluing the circle that i cut adding the glue on the edges like this also marking and cutting the seeds towards the end i'm gonna be showing you how it looks like if you don't cut it painting the same black now i'm gonna be using this i think these are rivets i don't even remember where i got this from i have like gold and silver ones but i'm gonna link below like few items that resemble this since i don't have like the exact ones feel free to use rhinestones as well or just like nail art stickers if i didn't have them what i would choose but i'm gonna be painting a few of them with this pearl white acrylic paint and my brush to helping myself with my dining tool i do have the DIY for this one it's like a real handy tool to have if you love crafts i'm gonna be using again my super glue and i'm gonna be gluing the black foamy paper on top of my black phone case the reason i painted this in black is because since i'm gluing this with crazy glue just to protect my phone case then i'm gonna be gluing my logo a bit crooked just because i actually found this inspiration from a paris hilton's instagram post on that she made i don't know like a year ago this is just inspiration of her phone case that she showed now to pick my rivets i'm going to be using the tool that is a toothpick holder in there i just added rinse and picker i do have the diy of this one it's kind of embarrassing because it's a really old diy but it is what it is and it's been made and this is how i'm going to be picking my rhinestones and this is what it looks like in gold silver pearl pearl and gold silver and gold pearl silver and gold i just made all those examples because at the beginning i just couldn't make out my mind of what i wanted to do and just to show you guys what other options you have but these are the ones that i ended up choosing then i'm going to be gluing this i have another toothpick holder in the shape of like a pencil with a rhinestone picker my dotting tool and then on my right i have this tool that i was using before my glue so i'm just going to be picking my rhinestone adding my glue with my other tool and then just putting my rivet back in and one way to know if the rivet is like actually glued is just by if your brainstorm picker doesn't pick the rivet back up, it's pretty much glued. Now I'm gonna be adding some gloss, it's a spray gloss, wearing my gloves, working outside, and I just added two coats of this. And this is what it looks like, I really like it. However, if the logo is just too much for you, too big, you want it center and smaller, I also did another version of this, pretty much the same, but I'm using this smaller cookie cutter. These are the sizes of this and my Wilton 7. And this is what it looks like gold silver gold and silver pearl and silver pearl and gold pearl 
silver gold and pearl now if you couldn't find rivets or rhinestones that you liked you can actually paint them and using a round dotting tool i'm using this one you can use the back of a brush as well and then just paint those dots like that this is going to be what it's going to sort of look like it's not going to be like quite the same because it's painted after all so it won't have like the same dimension but i think it looks cute anyways and i think it gets the job done but yeah guys i love how this turned out hopefully you can find rivets or rhinestones that you like and you can make it because it looks really cute i couldn't choose one color of rivets so i chose them all and i really like them i love how this turned out hopefully i liked it too if it did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up check out more fun cases that i have thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye guys.